Opinions about court cases are colorful. Out of the major headline this evening that'll affect women and families who turn to IVF to have a baby. But court decisions are based on the black and white. Documents, evidence, arguments, precedents. The unprecedented ruling tonight by Alabama's highest court, determining frozen embryos qualify as people. The state's biggest hospital says it is putting all IVF treatments on hold. It could soon be Texas's turn to decide how a black and white contract from a couple's past shapes the entire state's future. There's nothing about what you're trying to do that would end IVF as we know it. No, not at all. I recommend people to uh, my fertility doctor all the time. So yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Let's go feed the goats. Come on, come on, come on. IVF made Caroline Anton a mom. We'll be right back, Tally. Divorce made her a single mom. And her divorce case is now at the Texas Supreme Court with potentially far reaching implications. She wants justices to reconsider two lower court rulings, giving her ex-husband and only her ex-husband ownership of their three still frozen fertilized embryos. I do not want to continue having children with this person, but I don't have the right because they were considered property. That's not okay. What would you like to see happen to these frozen embryos? Unfortunately, the entire process have not given me the time to think about their future. Gabriel Anton is Caroline's ex-husband. Honestly, my honest answer is I don't know. He declined to speak with me when I initially reported Caroline's story in 2023. This is his first interview. He alone can decide the future of their embryos because of this signed contract. Frozen embryos are property in Texas, so fertility clinics require a contract explicitly stating who gets the property in the event of a divorce. These are Caroline and Gabriel's initials. They circled husband. Their divorce went to trial June 29, 2022. The U.S. Supreme Court had overturned Roe v. Wade June 24. And Caroline says a state with a new abortion ban defining an unborn child as from fertilization until birth, including the entire embryonic and fetal stages, should consider her frozen embryos unborn children too and give her a voice in what happens to them. When we treat them as property, we are taking away the human life. We have dehumanized them. The judge in Caroline's divorce and a court of appeals ruled against her, determining the definitions in Texas's abortion law do not apply to frozen embryos. They remain property, not people. But she appealed again, and now everyone is waiting to see if the state's highest court will take her case. What we hope the court realizes is, is this is really a legislative function and not a judicial function. This is really for the people's representatives to make a determination on. Gabriel Anton's attorney says state lawmakers could redefine frozen embryos. State Supreme Court justices shouldn't. Alabama is proof. The ramifications of considering them children are unclear. I, I fear that we're gonna take a family case that has nothing to do with this and we're gonna add a political impact to it. And now every other parent is gonna pay the price for that. Caroline believes IVF and parents can be protected. We say we care about families in Texas. We say we care about parental rights um, and the rights to choose what's best for families. But in this case, we're not showing it and our laws ought to reflect that. She says she just wants clarity in the gray areas of Texas's black and white laws about motherhood and life. In Denton, I'm Teresa Woodard. And Texas Right to Life recently filed a brief supporting Carolyn. Some fer fertility clinics filed briefs opposing her. It's still unclear when justices will decide whether to hear her appeal. We'll keep you updated, though.